Well, the U.S. Constitution guarantees freedom of religion, of course. In fact, it's the reason this country exists in the first place. But increasingly, the law in many states is making it harder to be both religious and gainfully employed. Melissa and Aaron Klein were formerly the proprietors of a company called Sweet Cakes by Melissa. It was a bakery. But after refusing to provide a cake for a same-sex wedding, the Kleins were fined $135,000 by the state of Oregon. Last year, they had to close their bakery as a result. They're still fighting, though, and today their case was heard by a state appeals court. We're joined tonight by the Kleins, along with Hiram Sasser of the First Liberty Institute, which was representing them in court. Thanks a lot for joining us, all of you. First, well, thanks for having to you, me. Melissa, there's been so much... Um, reporting on this and so much of it is coming from a very specific perspective that is hostile to you that I just want to establish exactly what happened. You all did not refuse to serve customers because they were gay, as I understand it. You merely refused to participate in any way in a ceremony you believe violated your religious beliefs. Is that a fair distinction? Well, I, I, you know, actually, Tucker, I, I have to kind of interrupt. You know, there's a gag order in this case where it's actually being interpreted by one of the commissioners at the Bureau of Labor and Industries that they can't even really talk about what actually happened. Uh, and so we have to be very careful because of this gag order. So it's not just the... the Wait, I'm going to stop, the, the, I'm gonna stop you there. Uh, what, what do you mean you can't talk about... I mean, not only... So they're, they're dismantled the entire First Amendment, the Religious Liberty Party and the Freedom of Speech <laughs> Party. Why can't you describe what happened, something that's been described in a lot of news stories? I don't understand. Yeah, uh, hey, that's exactly right. I, I, I can tell you what happened a little bit, but, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the Kleins, uh, they're gagged by, by uh, this gag order. And that's, that's part of what this case is all about. It's not just about being fined with, uh, or actually damages of $135,000. It's a, such a soul-crushing penalty that put them out of business. Uh, that's not good enough. Now, it, it actually, there's an extra part, and you can't really talk about it. Uh, and so that's uh, part of the case okay, so that's let me, going let, on right now. Let me ask a general, a much more general question. And I, you know, I sure. think people have read a lot of stories about this. And I just want to be totally clear. As a general matter to both clients, did you have a practice of not serving gay people because they were gay? No, we had no, we had no such litmus test for customers. We served everybody, no matter who they were, every walk of life. I mean, well, that's part of being open to the public. And right. these, these two women were, in fact, return customers. Right. Okay, so they've been there before, and you served them no problem. So I think we can right. all yeah. assume that the problem was you didn't want to participate in a ceremony in any way that you felt violated your religious beliefs. So my question exactly. to you, and I've been thinking this since this story began, what do you make of the coverage of this? The Oregonian which is your newspaper, one of the newspapers in Oregon, <laughs> described this quote, and I'm, they used quotation marks around the phrase religious liberty as if it was a concept they were unfamiliar with or something only right-wingers cared about. Do you think this case has received fair coverage? It, it really depends on what uh, a news outlet you, you go with. I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of um, false stories out there, a lot of things that totally mischaracterized us, what happened. And really what it comes down to is, I mean, it's really, it's, it's hard to find truth in media when it comes to things like this because there's so much in, misinformation out there. Right. So you've been, as I'm sure you know, characterized as hating gay people when it's much more specific. Now, to your, to your attorney, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the precedent this sets is that the state can force people to violate their religious beliefs. I mean, presumably they could force, I don't know, a kosher, kosher butcher to sell bacon or a Catholic hospital to commit abortion or... It, your religious beliefs are no protection against force from the state. Is that correct? Yeah. You know, what, what's unfortunate about this is that we have people of goodwill on all sides. And, uh, you know, we live in a pluralistic society. We've got to try to figure out how to get along. And, and what we're just simply fighting for is, is tolerance and respect and, and, and the dignity of all people uh, to be able to carry out their lives in the, the way that they see fit. And everyone struggles uh, how to, how to, comp uh, to both uh, uh, follow their faith, but also interact with others, and uh, it's just, it's just, it's just really sad that the government has decided to come in here in Oregon and put their thumb on the scale and say, no, your, your beliefs, your way is wrong, and we're going to punish you right. with basically a lifetime crushing penalty. Of course, abetted by their mindless handmaidens in the press who hate you for other reasons, cultural reasons. Uh, so when are we going to find out the outcome of this? When's, when's the ruling coming down? It's going to take a number of months probably before we uh, receive the ruling, but whatever the ruling is, I, I, I'm fairly certain that one side or the other will appeal, and this will probably make its way uh, all the way up to the Supreme Court, and so people can follow this case at FirstLibertyInstitute.org at our, at our okay. website. 
let me just be totally clear. You don't have to be a Christian or even a religious person to have an interest in the outcome of this. It affects all of us in a deep way. Thanks a lot for joining us, all of you. Yeah. Thanks.